two tracks in Blount County, Alabama, six acres with barns and 11 acres with a pond. Hey everyone, it's Chad Kemp, the Alabama Land Agent. This is the second video of the two video part series. These are the last two tracks. It's the six acre and the 11 acre south of Highway uh, 132. We've got the six acre track that's got all the buildings on the property and it's got lots of pasture to it. It's got uh, fronts two different roads. And then the other track, the 11 acres, got the half acre pond with some bass and brim in it and a really nice um, off the road home site. But also again, look down in the description and down below in the comments, we'll have the pricing there as well, a link to the other tracks on the north side. But uh, again, thanks for watching, have a great day. This is part two of the video series. You know, in part one, you saw tracks one and two that which are across the street. And this is part two for tracks three and four. As you just saw moments ago, track three is six acres these are estimates we will have these properties surveyed when the time comes but these are just estimates so the pricing and restrictions at the end of the video so stay tuned and watch that but also be sure to hang on because we're going to be showing track four as well which is 11 acres but for now this is track three uh, track three has a lot of road frontage it's got road frontage on fields road or old fields road and has frontage there on 132 and you're just going to see in moments but it's about 450 wide about by 558 so it's a good width and depth to the property as you can see they have animals so there's fencing on the property now whoever buys this track and the other track you'll have to create uh, a, a middle fencing in between you'll have that had to be fenced off but but you do have a home site and one of the better home sites on this track is right here near the front it's a great it's got a good slope to it you could easily do a basement if you wanted to or it, with enough dirt work you could go in here definitely do a crawl space maybe even a slab but over 900 feet of frontage on both between both roads there you do have water and you do have power out here there no but there's no natural water on this six acres that we we would be selling so you'd have to create some um, some water for the um, for the uh, cows or horses that you may have on the property for your animals. But but what this does have is three buildings on the property. You've got um, one that's about thirteen hundred square feet, a seven hundred and a um, thousand square feet, not including some some overhangs. But you'll see that in just a moment. But it's a great location because you're only about 10 minutes away or less, really, maybe even five minutes away from Walmart and where Kubota and um, that dealership is on 75. But you're just very convenient to, to Anianta. That's what's great about this. You're in the country. You're in the county, but you're in the country. And um, you'd be there in just a few moments away. But this barn here is the one at 700 square feet, not including any of the lean-tos that you're seeing back behind here, too. So you got lots of storage. Now, it was built for the time period. You know, it was built a couple of years ago. Now everybody wants to go a little bit taller for equipment and that sort of thing. And that's understandable. You, there would be some of that that you'd probably want, would like to do there. Uh, depending on the size of your tractor that you would have. But this does have an upstairs area to it. Um, you know, this may be functional to you. To me, I like it because it's kind of unique. And to me, it is useful because it's here and it's usable. And, um, and it's got a lot of character to it. This is the middle building that you're going to see on the other side in just a second. But you do have that area for storage on the back side. And then we're going to go in this gate and you're going to see this other the main barn this is the main barn that i would i would call the main structure of the barn itself the footprint it's somewhere around 1300 square feet and then you have the overhangs now we're not including any of the space up top as far as square footage because it's got a little bit more up there but there's it's got so much character to it you know there's a lot of things that you may uh could use it for as a workshop if you wanted to you know it's probably not functional today's standards from a farm to have areas to store your um, hay bales, especially your ram bales, but you could easily store some uh, square bales if you wanted to use the middle of this to, to be able to do that, and uh, especially for a mini farm. You know, this is not a full-time large 
um, operation that you're going to have that you're going to have on this property because it's a mini farm. You know, it's for somebody that wants to have a nice house, come in here and be able to um, to raise a few animals for the family and to enjoy just being out in the country. You know, and having a pretty view looking out the back of your house. So this is what you're going to get with this property. That's what you're going to get. You're going to be in the county in the country and you got all these outbuildings to to really enjoy with the little mini farm here and this one's about a thousand square feet you just saw earlier the back side which has the uh, additional storage so that whole footprint's about a thousand square feet there of, of area to be, at, be actual to be actually to to use there and um or you could probably use one of these as a workshop if you wanted to obviously you want to come in here and um, spruce it up, put some power to it, put some concrete. But track four, it's 11 acres. It's the one that's probably the most appealing. It's, it's very intriguing because you do have this large pond, half-acre pond. But you can see it's about 800 feet deep. It's got a beautiful home site to the left of this pond in the direction that we're headed. And uh, it does have gate access because you have road frontage. But there is a gate there on 132, over 430 feet of road frontage. This does have a barn. Now, this barn is grouped up with all the other barns. You can kind of tell based on this illustration there. We're going to bring that line just enough to kind of give you area to kind of walk around to be able to use this barn here. So you'd, this is kind of where you'd bring that fence in. If you're going to divide this property between the other six acres, you'd be bringing your fence in somewhere about right in here. And again, these are estimated acreages. And at the time we survey, survey this, the lines could change a little bit just because to be to try to make everything work best we can. But um, but a really cool barn too. Smaller, you know, it's not as tall as the main the main barn and the other barn, but it is. But it does have character to it. And you see this as you first come in. When you come in that gate, it's to the far right. So we were kind of looking in that direction. But you would bring your pretty road in through here, going back to your home site. And you could probably build up front, but why would you when it's so pretty in the back? And you're, you're going to see that when you visit the property. And you're seeing that now as we're walking along this property here. You'd have to put you a little bit better covered in there if you wanted to for a home you dress all that up but what a nice home site back here it's very private it's approximately about 200 feet wide between the tree line and the property line and, and again all these numbers are just estimates we're just estimating based on what we can figure but that's the points that i could pull but give us a call text me call me we'll be happy to show you the property or talk to you more about it but you do have this really nice half acre pond and you can also go to my our website alabamalandagent.com and also you can see the company name and information at the end of the video along with the pricing you know stay tuned for the pricing and the restrictions that's coming up and but you got this nice half acre does have bass and brim i have seen it these are actual picture video footage of of that i didn't see any catfish in there but there could be i don't know but i do know that there they are bass and brim but what a view. You do have a second area that you could put another barn or another second home if you wanted to on the other side of the lake. And that's where this location and video is now. But it's very pretty back here on this side, too. It'd be worth the look and come see. It's, it's really a nice property. All these tracks are very nice. You're going to want to come take a look at all of them. These are the restrictions here on the property. We're just trying to make sure that everybody's property is well maintained and the values keep are up. But these are the pricing. Give us a call. We'll be happy to talk to you more about it. Thanks again for watching.